Now back to tonight's sport and it's a big evening for the Swindon Wildcats ice hockey team who play the first leg of the Autumn Cup final. They're taking on Leeds Knights and our sports editor Alistair Durden is at the Link Centre in Swindon ahead of the game. Hi Ali. Hi Liz, yeah, you can see the players have just come out to warm up now. 7.30 start here. The first leg of the cup final is here in Swindon. The second leg away to Leeds next Thursday night to decide who is the champions. Well, the people of Swindon do love their ice hockey. It's going to be sold out here tonight. But if you don't know much about the Wildcats or indeed the sport, well, I can tell you it is fast and it is physical. This is ice hockey in the National League, and Swindon are the team to beat. Cup finalists and league leaders, the Wildcats are setting the pace after a season lost to COVID. A lot of guys hadn't been on the ice for four or five months because the ice rink had closed down itself. So it's been a challenge, but you know, it's just good to be back and especially in front of the fans. Normally we're pretty famous for having a bad start in Swindon, but this year we've, uh, we've done the reverse and had a great start. We're all very excited, you know, this is what we play ice hockey for and uh, we can't wait to hopefully win a trophy. The Wildcats have players from right across Europe, but many are local and some have even been with the team throughout their whole lives. I was brought to the rink because I was too old to be left at home and uh, I ended up nagging my dad into letting me have a go and um, just playing for the Wildcats was quite a big deal for me and then um, a lot of the other players who been here a long time, the core of our squad. A lot of them are Swindon lads, and you can feel how excited people are when, we're, when things are going well, so that's great. They've had big nights at the link before, winning cups and league titles. Now they want to give the returning fans another memorable occasion. It's amazing to see people back in the crowd, and we, I say it every year when I first sign, and uh, you know, it's the best fans in the league, and it really is. They're, they're so dedicated, and it'd be their best Christmas ever, wouldn't it? A, a, tr a trophy bringing it home to Swindon. So that's what we're planning on, and uh, hopefully, we can make it come to life. So, practice time is over. Now it's time to play. That's oh, great to watch. Well, I've got Aaron Nell with me, who's the player coach of the Wildcats. Big night, Aaron. Home advantage tonight, how key is that going to be? It's going to be huge. We've got a good start to the game tonight. Uh, we've been good at home all year. And uh, look, the players are really excited for it. It's going to be a great night and uh, hopefully we can get a big win. Now, you had to play without these supporters during COVID. What's it going to be like to have it full here tonight? It will be a great atmosphere tonight. Um, look, it's not as big as we would hope because of the, all the worries at the moment. But um, look, it will be a great atmosphere. The boys need to put in a big performance. I'm sure they will. They're looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, it'll be a, a good night tonight. Now, you've been involved with the Wildcats as a player and a coach, but I think you were brought down here by your dad when you were about three, weren't you? Yeah, I've been a long associated with the Wildcats. Um, I love the club, I love everything about it, and, uh, and hopefully we can, over the next six, seven days, try and get a big trophy and uh, be a good Christmas present for the club and for the fans. It certainly would. We'll let you go and uh, complete your warm-up. Best of luck tonight. Thank you. Great stuff. So 7.30 starting here. I'm afraid we've got a lot of football and rugby postponements to tell you about. The matches involving Forest Green, Swindon Town and Bristol Rovers are all off because of coronavirus. Meanwhile, Bristol City are urging supporters to get to the ground early for tomorrow's game against Huddersfield. You will need to show your COVID passport or NHS proof of a negative lateral flow test. And the rugby matches, the European rugby involving Bath and Bristol Bears, both of those matches against French clubs are off as well. That is because of travel restrictions between the two countries. Now, Bath's Jamie Chadwick has won plenty of motor racing titles in women's sport, but tomorrow she has a chance to win one in an electric car. Now, this is the conclusion of the Extreme E series, which finishes down on the Jurassic Coast in Dorset. Now, the fruit flyer, Jensen Button, is also competing. He has a team, as does Sir Lewis Hamilton. And the whole idea of the series is to race in electric SUVs to highlight the impact of climate change. Here's Jules Corston. Dorset's Jurassic Coast is famed for its links to the past, but this weekend it's providing a glimpse into the future. 
Bath's Jamie Chadwick, already W Series champion, knows her team has a lot to do. We're going in a little bit on the back foot. Um, Lance is a new teammate for me this weekend. I haven't uh, done the last two races, so I think we're going to go out, enjoy it, and yeah, any result will be a bonus. Nine teams, each with a male and female driver, will take on this 3.8 kilometre track. The female drivers up and down, you know, this paddock, they've had huge opportunities off the back of, um, you know, the platform that Extreme has given them. So, um, yeah, I think it's definitely served a big, big support, well, big support to, to the female drivers in the championship. And, yeah, looking forward to seeing what's next. From the sand dunes of Saudi Arabia to the deep mud of the south coast, Extreme E is driving a message of sustainability. Another West Country contender is Jensen Button. In terms of spreading awareness and uh, with you know, the idea of sustainability in, in road cars, a lot of it comes from technology that we, we push in motorsport. Uh, and here, obviously, EV motor vehicles, but also we have a hydrogen generator that's charging these EV motor, motor vehicles. So it's, it's really exciting what we're doing right now. This weekend, we'll see the first Extreme E champion crowned. Regardless of whether it's a driver from the West, the question is, could we be witnessing the future of motorsport? Julia Corston, BBC Points West. Always good to see the Froome fly Jensen Button again. So an exciting weekend of sport. It begins here tonight with the Swindon Wildcats just going through their final shooting practice here before we start at 7.30. Remember, this is just the first leg, second leg in Leeds on Thursday to decide who will be the Autumn Cup champions. Back to you. Thanks, Ali. Should we have a touch of something Christmassy?